Uh, I'm Dr. Atul and I'm uh, going to present my topic on uh, measurement of uh, inflammatory cytokines uh, biomarkers from tear samples from the patients of uveitis. Uh, there's no financial disclosure. Uh, so normally uh, cytokines are uh, present in uh, which are responsible for the all the uveitic problems which are seen in these diseases. So any abnormality or atypical cell population, cytokine expression and cell-to-cell uh, -cell interaction, uh, these can be seen in this uh, cytokine, uh, uveitic entities. So different pattern of cytokine uh, expressions are seen, which can be uh, TNF alpha, uh, TNF uh, alpha and uh, IL-1, IL-2, IL-6 and 17. So uh, the cytokine, there is already cytokine-based uh, disease taxonomy which is present for personalized treatment strategies towards uh, all the uh, most of the systemic diseases like uh, rheumatic arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, giant cell, uh, psor psoriatic uh, arthritis, and colizing spondylitis. So uh, our aim of the study was to determine the cytokine expression profile in the tears of uh, patients with uveitis. Uh, it was a cross-section study for the tear analysis in these patients in a uh, tertiary eye care center from South India using a biomarker uh, kit which was uh, used in age mass uh, controls. Uh, ethical committee approval was taken. Shermer strips were used uh, to collect the tear samples and uh, these were stored in uh, 1.5 uh, ml of microcentrifuge tubes. Extraction buffers were added, and uh, after mixing for five minutes, five, uh, 50 microliters of tears were collected from uh, were added to the circular, uh, specifically designed circular wells in the cartridge, and uh, wash buffers were added in the uh, triangular wells as well. So uh, these were uh, measured using a uh, fluorescent uh, reader. Uh, with BioM uh, uh, Pathfinder, which is specially designed in our uh, uh, hospital. And uh, these were used to analyze IL-1 beta, IL-6, IL-10, IL-17A, TNF-alpha, uh, MMP9, VEGF, SICAM-1 in these tier samples. Statistic analysis was done using uh, Criscal wireless test and uh, with dense multiplication uh, uh, comparison test. So, uh, Inflammatory uh, factors measurements uh, were used for this uh, personalized treatment strategies were the values of these uh, specific uh, cytokine values. And uh, this is the uh, uh, tubes which you can see here. So on res uh, results, there are total number of uh, 486 eyes which were uh, evaluated uh, out of which 272 were uveitic and uh, 214 were healthy eyes. The age group was uh, 6 to 9, 90 years with medium age of uh, median age of 44.5. Uh, mainly the uh, females were around 74. The, on anatomical classification, uh, there were maximum patients were uh, of posterior uveitis followed by anterior and pan. The uh, total number of patients uh, were around 156 patients were of autoimmune diseases followed by uh, idiopathic and uh, infectious diseases and around 214 were controlled patients. So uh, this is a scattered dot uh, bar graph which you can see uh, which shows the that around uh, IL-1 beta, uh, IL-6, IL-17A, TNF-alpha, MMP9 and S-ICAM levels were uh, significantly elevated in uh, uveitic patients and uh, majority of uh, major etiology which was involved was autoimmune followed by idiopathic and infectious so uh, in anterior and posterior pan uveitis uh, around this il1 beta il17 a and tnf alpha and mmp9 were elevated while uh, il16 uh, while il6 and sicam were mainly elevated in anterior and posterior only uh, episclerotic patients were had uh, il10 levels uh, which were high uh, post fever retinitis had uh, high levels of uh, IL-1 beta, IL-6 and MMP9 and uh, viral had mostly uh, MMP9 levels which were significantly high. So uh, in comparison with uh, tubercular, uh, tubercular entities, uh, post retinal fever had a higher level of uh, VEGF levels. This is a case example uh, where a bilateral retinal vasculitis with retinitis was there. The patient had high levels of MMP9 SICAM levels along with uh, VEGF in both the eyes, which you can see here. So after treatment, these levels uh, were significantly reduced. 
on discussion uh, M- mpo and ka positive patients uh, had higher level higher serum levels of soluble icam and soluble elam uh, which were uh, present highly high in, uh, during active phase and were uh, slowly declined during the treatment phase as icam uh, levels may reflect the extent of uh, microvascular uh, involvement in ra patients uh, one study uh, noticed that the concentration of il6 and il10 were significantly high in non infectious uh, uretic patients in comparison to uh, normal healthy patients and uh, il23 il1 beta il15 and egf and uh, fractile uh, ratios and mcp and uh, ccl2 were elevated in patients with uh, uretis and vegf levels and tgf beta2 were high in uh, these patients compared to the no- uh, normal controls so uh, based on a current st- uh, knowledge and analysis and uh, quantification of these cytokines and uh, specific tier biomarkers can uh, help in better understanding of the pathogenesis of these uretic entities to plan the future targeted therapy in uh, uretic also thank you are you aware of any other method of collection of tears um uh, usually uh, in previous studies some studies have been done where uh, they had used capillary tubes so uh, right now we are uh, the main purpose of this is to provide this facility we have a biomarker uh, bi- uh, m uh, bio m pathfinder which is there you can see in the uh, picture which is uh, not commercially available right now but uh, we are planning to go for commercial availability but uh, right now we are uh, just finding out the it, its uh, horizon horizon basically just to know because whether that, how much that will ha, better uh, yeah so it's sample. basically a opt based procedure we collect the uh, s- samples there it takes around hardly 15 minutes to do the whole procedure so we can uh, test it at every uh, follow ups so to see whether the levels are increased or uh, what's the cause in other patient we had done uh, one patient was there medium which we had done and followed uh, followed it for around 3 4 follow ups it it is a different study which we had done so in that also we have found that uh, the it was the cme was resistant in the, uh, the patient and the cause was not uh, the vegf itself so we did uh, use a, uh, another drug which was there uh, which helped in reducing the cme and other do you find any difference in the pediatric and the adult uh, you had some j i actually there is also another study which is going on uh, which uh, my colleague will also present uh, so there is a presentation in next oh. few <laughs> so oh. he will definitely the difference between i0 and i1 is where you had idiopathic uveitis versus secondary uveitis so if you so, look at your control group i think they are age match patients who were not having any uh, disease or not having any uveitis they were normal patients uh-huh. so if i have to ask you is there there should have been a third control group where probably you should have taken an i where there was no idiopathic uveitis or a uveitis suppose a regmatogenous detachment causing uveitis uh, that's uh, actually there are two uh, ways there uh, this uh, cytokine can be used which we can see here uh, mostly in the non uh, infectious uveitic patients other is uh, in these uh, some studies have been done where regmatogenous and uh, some retinal diseases which has caused uh, which has been there has uh, different levels of cytokines so uh, we have haven't done that part of study but uh, because it was done properly uh, only in uveitic specifically so that study we have but we are uh, looking for that also thank you